In this video, I'm going to show you a really useful thing that your Casio ClassWiz calculator can do, and that is that it can actually solve and rearrange equations. So you could have an equation, like say x plus 1 equals 2, that you want to solve, and you can input it by using first this um, x here. Don't use the alpha one, it's a waste of time. Use the x here, then you just type in plus 1 and we're going to be entering x plus 1 equals 2, and you have to work really hard to avoid this button down here. Don't use this equals, otherwise it won't work. You have to press alpha, and then use the equals on the calc button. Then you want to put in 2. You've now entered your equation. The next step is to press the solve button here, so you press shift, and then solve. And it gives you this value of 0 which looks ridiculous, and you just think, that's wrong. 0 plus 1 is definitely not 2. Bad calculator. But then when you think about it, this x equals 0 is actually just what was stored in the memory, and it's not actually done the calculation. What you need to do now is press equals. So always ignore that first value. Press equals, and then it gives you the correct answer. So it gives you the x equals 1, which makes sense. 1 plus 1 is, of course, 2. And then it gives you this L minus R. L stands for the left-hand side, and R stands for the right-hand side. What this calculator is actually doing is solving it iteratively. It's using numerical methods. So it's basically guessing and progressively cycling through guesses for x until the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. And a value of 0 tells you that this is a perfect solution, that there's not an error associated with it. So that is how you solve a basic equation. My other top tip is that this can actually solve some pretty useful things. For example, you could put in log 2 of, let's say, x, and then alpha equals, again, avoiding this button, 3. And then we could go shift, then we press the solve function, and again, it's giving us x equals 1. You must remember to ignore this value. That is not right. Then you need to press equals, and it gives you the value that x equals 8. So this calculator can actually rearrange logarithms for you. That's quite useful. So I hope this video was helpful to you, and you can now solve equations using your Casio calculator. If it did help you out, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.